Lift her up. There's a demon that visits you in the night and try to press you down and sleep with you. And this does not want to make you to marry. This is a demon. Ouch! Ouch, you demon! Ouch! I'll tell you why I'm praying for you. Brother, stand up. Brother, stand up. You are starting to be very sick. There are things here in your stomach. Amen. Eh? Yes. You feel pains here. Yes. You are free. Where is your mom? Where is your mom? At home. Eh? At home, Switzerland. You need to pray for your mom. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, otherwise, you people, you will lose your mom. Certainly want to kill your mom. You want to kill people in your family. Yes. You understand? And then there's someone was carried to hospital. So? They carry someone to hospital. Yeah, she's in and out of hospital. I'm not saying your mom. I say, I saw your mom being sick, sleeping down. And I saw someone carried to hospital. And I said, Satan want to kill someone in your family. Huh? I was the one in hospital. You were the one in hospital? Yes. So that's why I said, Satan want to kill someone. She says she's the one who was in hospital. You are free. Where's your wife? Are you a pastor? Yes, I'm a prophet. Huh? I'm a prophet. You're a prophet? Yes, apostle. Okay, prophet, a pastor. Yes, prophet. Bring this wife, she needs deliverance. Come on. Come on, leave this woman. <coughs> Lift her up. On the people that we want them to lift them up, you throw them down. On the people that... Come on. What are you doing to her? What are you doing to the house? Huh? You demon. Where is Zadila? Where is Zadila? Koloma! Prophet. Yes, Prophet, Pastor. Yes, Apostle. There's a problem. Yes, Apostle. And this problem is coming from your generation. Yes, Apostle. Pastor, in your generation, you people, you have to marry and remarry. Yes, Prophet. But you, because you say, I will pray and pray and pray. I don't, one wife, what you believe on that. Yes, Prophet. They are attacking your wife now. Yes, Prophet. Uh, always arguing small things. It's true, Prophet. Huh? It was true. I came with my sister, who is now divorced. The one you prayed for, the, you, for them here. Now he is Which a divorcee. Which one I pray for? My sister. What is your sister? My sister. They came with them. I came with them. I came with them here. You so is this is not the first time you come here. It's not the first time, Apostle. All right. Okay. You came here before with your sister. Yes, I, I brought them. They were having a problem with her husband, who is a pastor in Swaziland. Now they are divorcee. So you say that. Me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not staying in Switzerland. I'm not in Swatimina. I'm a South African. And now, for me to tell you this, it means your problem is solved. Yes, sir. Because you as a prophet, you are the one to cancel this problem. You understand? Yes, Pastor. Uh, God must use you to cancel this problem. Now they are attacking this woman. Thank you, Pastor. And then, if you're a prophet, you need to listen to your wife. A right prophet will always listen to his wife. Yes, sir, Pastor. 
Hey. Puma. Puma bueno. Puma. And the food la is what you say what? Asikufundana. Asikufundana. Puma. You live you live the wife of my brother. Puma. Puma means come out. In Swati. In su- Puma means oh, to suga, hamba. Suga. Hamba. Suga, hamba. Leave it, leave it down. Brother, you are blessed. Okay. Come on, you demon. So this demon is coming from where? We people, you come from where? You all come from Swaziland. Huh? You come from Swaziland. We went to the Lama Demonila. Where are you happy? Where are you happy? Where are you You know I'm coming to Swaziland. Yes. Do you know I'm coming to Swaziland this week? Yes. Why are you come here now first? <laughs> When can Lindy Lena Lama Dimon? Lisa Naola. Yeah? You know I'm coming. Eh? Yes, Apostle. I, I know that you are coming to Sazlin. So why are you letting Lama Dimonila? We have scheduled the day to come here. They have already paid to come here. And every time when I come here, uh, that is where, when I come to this place, at times I used to come, when, even when I don't find you, I go back with the strength. So, I trust you when I'm here. But going outside there, and I will just, yes, I will stop. But I'm happy when I'm here. I feel that everything is over. All right, let's see here. Uti, Uti, we are here. Ah! Kanjani. Bwama, I'm going to stop falling on fire. 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 I'm going to stop falling on Interpreter spirit. What's in it? She won't. She won't give birth. She won't give birth. Yes. Why? Why you say she won't give birth? I am full of talent. I don't want her to give birth. I don't feel like she won't talent. Where is the husband? Where is the husband? And yes. Mazi. My husband had left at Swaziland. So, what do you want to do with your husband? I don't want her to come here. Yes, she will live a nice life. If she can be, have a child, yes. she will live better. Who are you? 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 You must wait, don't ask me questions. Wait. Huh? You must stop asking me questions. Ah. You are chasing me now. You are chasing You are chasing me. And you are chasing me. You are chasing me. Sister, how are you? Huh? Who are you? Is she? Ah! Hey, please take your child, my Simba. Huh? Take your child. Ah! This is another demon also. Hey, now Puma la unga buhi la. Puma. Hey, Gamalika Jess. There are many demons in this woman. This is the demon that is holding a baby issue. In Jesus' name. Bring this woman to me. This demon is still there. You are hiding here. Ouch! In Jesus' name. At least it's over now.
So this is people from Swaziland. And when I came here, I didn't know you people are from Swaziland. Jesus' name. Come on, you demon. Can you put mic there? It's a demon. Out! You demon. Come on. Out! Out, you demon! So, Pastor, you, all, you know these people? Huh? This are my from the church. They're from your church? Yes, you prayed for me for the ministry. I had a problem there. They were attacking me. <laughs> so, you prayed for me for the These church. These people are from your church? They are, from, they are all from, the, from my church. Oh. Pastor, let's, let's change. Well, people are looking at you now. Let's go there where there's no church. Uh, I'm Councillor Villane from Swaziland. Uh, what the man of God has said, it's true, because even in my relationships, there is no way forward. We, I so much have disappointments in my relationships. Um, uh, it's affecting me so serious, because I just feel like my life has no way forward. I just feel like everything is at the end of my life, because uh, I have two kids and they are from different names. I felt so happy because it shows that God is not just, uh, it's not, God is looking up onto my life because if the man of God has something to say about me, that means God is saying something to the man of God about my life. Uh, I am Shangi Wengwenye from Switzerland. Uh, I came here for prayers. I've been having challenges. Okay, uh, like uh, he said, I've been in and out of hospitals, mm -hmm. and my mother is sickly. He's not uh, mm -hmm. well at all, mm -hmm. and we really see that sometimes it's spirits. Amen. Yes, uh, I'm feeling okay. I'm very happy. Amen. Yeah. Elvis Vuskama from Swaziland. Uh, this, the one who is next to me is my wife from the Ark of God Ministry in Swaziland at Deponess next to President Center. Yes, we, we, were very, we are very happy to come here because God has done something great in our life and we believe that our ministry will continue of what God is doing, uh, is doing here at Charis Missionary Church. The prophet that uh, he prophesied, uh, Apostle prophesied that uh, there is a generational curse in my family. Yes, it is not the first time he prophesied me. I once came here, he prophesied me about that. I was having the problem in the church, but he prayed for me and anointed me. After anointed me, things began to move out. Things began to, to move faster. Even my church now is increasing, and I see the grace of God working in my church, and I see God, the anointing of Apostle Makananisa, is working in my, in my church. I think I, with my wife, we are the first people who are not uh, divorced but my my sister who is the first one has already divorced which he, he prophesies true and uh, he said he also said I am the one who is the solution because I've got this only wife I never remarry I never divorced but uh, we, he said we are the solution to that family yes because now already I don't know what is happening with my sister what happened because he's, he's a divorcee he prophesied and it happened Yes, it's true. But we believe that God is still going to do more great, great things. I'm, I'm very, very happy because I can see God will do, and he will do more, more. He will do greatly, especially in, on the side of my ministry. And I can see even the anointing in the church is increasing. And many people in the church, they are receiving what is being received at here in Charis. I want just to invite everyone to come and sit under this prophet, to come and submit to under this apostle. Because I believe that once you come inside this ministry, you will see a change. Please come and experience in Jesus' name.